monitoring everything you do, and you've got all the walls going around, like all touchscreen, like why can't you just do that right now? The, the, the text there, you have it all there together, and then you just get, you pay people and say, hey look, make something cool. We've got the connect, we've got the touchscreen walls. Yeah. Do something with it. Put Minecraft on there. Well, I was wondering why they, yeah. As I'll say before we do this, why don't they have a Ross, or Ross, a uh, Connect X Prize? Yeah, it'd be awesome. That's gonna get a crutch shot, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. It, 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 I, I just really like that. I think that'd be really cool. There's something to just mess around with. Just all this tech that you just chuck together and say, hey, see what you can come up with. Like, we've got the 3D printers and all of that right now. Why yeah. can't we, with just 3D printers, actually just like put people together and say, hey, make awesome shit. Just uh, come up together, put a camera in different things around and start building houses that are just fully with it. Just put a ton of cash and get really smart people, like just uh, say like 50 to 100 people, like or like share house type thing, and you start saying, hey look, yeah. you've got a ton of cash, here's a 3D printer, here's touchscreen technology, here's connects, yeah. build the most awesome stuff. house, do whatever you think would actually be awesome, and we just give them money for like just a year. And yeah, just non-stop, do stuff. I mean, Google Campus all that, their 20% project. Fuck that, 100% project. Yeah, none of us working. The amount of innovation we're getting out of those guys is shit. Shockingly it's bad. And they, they know, know what it. to do with it. They know it. It's the horrible thing. Why don't just, yeah, 100% just chuck really smart guys in there and say, hey, look, 3D printer, put anything that you want. Here's some cool, like, touchscreen stuff. Here's all of that. Can't yeah. Just do awesome shit. Live your life as much as you want to. You've got a year. Nothing has to happen in that year. You can do whatever you like. Here's some awesome shit. Here's, yeah. like, millions of dollars. You get people who have just... Straight out of MIT or something, I don't know. They're going to give uni students. Well, maybe people in like, sort of, after 25 or so. Maybe a little bit there, and then just say, hey, come on, live in this place for a year, we give you a million dollars, and you build awesome shit. Yeah, and just give them all the gadgets. Yeah, all the gadgets. That's the latest. Yeah. Get awesome people who are awesome at coding and all that, like, you know, the top people, all just living yeah. together and sharing ideas. None of this, oh, small amounts and doing that other stuff. No, yeah. commit to a whole fucking year. I have a feeling the um, the whole fucking economic system is just killing it. Like I, I like I, I I seriously think I've run out of ideas now. Yeah. I've got like I've got with. no new ideas. Yeah. I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few that are still lingering, but they're from before. they're old ideas. Yeah. They're old ideas that no one's still done yet. But yeah. It's still frustrating. Well, it's because our mindsets change now into stuff we can do right now because we've been forced into that mindset. Yeah, that's, that's what that's shit, the problem. We need money. We're forced into the, you have to run a business, you have to do it this way, you have yeah. to do it... But you, you know why that is, as soon as we actually stop focusing on that, as soon as we've got money coming in, we'll go yeah. back to it. I, I guarantee you we'll go back to it. Just See, that must be happening on such a grander scale for people, oh, God, yeah. for people who go into like 9 to 5 jobs, yeah. in working in companies, like... Well, because then they spend all their brain power just doing that. Yeah, it sucks out all their... their computation. Yeah, well, it sucks it. <laughs> So it's their computation for monies. All their human computation. But um, you've already got the, the foundings of that. Like you've got Kickstarter, which is already doing, yeah, say some stuff. Like you, you're pretty much saying, oh, just pay a whole bunch of people to go into a, you know, live together, just give them all the like, crazy shit. Yeah. But a cheaper option would probably be, um, do a combination of like Kickstarter crowdfunding and also then voting ideas. Yeah, what yeah. cool. Essentially, like a global X Prize, but not like big things, but like mini X Prize. What about a Big Brother house that you actually vote and people make awesome shit, and then you, you give them money if you like it? Yeah, How, that would be a fun Big Brother to watch. In, a, in an actual house. Yeah, why not? You give them all the tech, you give them everything there, and you get everyone working <laughs> on their projects, like Kickstarter and stuff, and you just record what they're doing. You yeah. put it out onto the net. We say like you know twenty people or so. Cool. And you just give them tons of cash and say, hey, look, let's make these different projects. And you go on, you can say, hey, look, apply to funding and we'll give you stuff as well. Come and invest in us, guys. Yeah. The the smart. Don't say, well, you're approaching the lowest common denominator. You could do that at the end, but uh, you wouldn't be able to do that at the start. The amount of investment would be. Oh, yeah, but uh, I'm talking like, you know, when you've got 100 million to the boat. Yeah. But what about to start with, just like a, a mini X Prize model? Well, they do that already, though. They do it like. Why isn't it working? Like, Kickstarter essentially does because that. Because they don't jump in, they don't put their full. They don't put everything behind it. It's just like, you know, a side thing. Yeah. That's why I want, like, you know... Oh, you, so you're saying you've got to pay them enough up front to, you, to you, live This on. is what you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not anything else. This is what you do for the next year or the next three months. Or I want longer than three months. You just get smart people all together for, like, a year with the latest tech and all the greatest gadgets and you just keep on doing stuff. Yeah. And maybe you're there for a year and you keep on bringing people in. After a year, you leave and then you get new blood coming in. So it keeps on cycling through. How 
cool would that be? That'd be like the ultimate house, and you'd end up having scholarships and prizes because everyone would want to yeah. go there like crazy. You turn it into yeah, you turn it into a full blown university. Yeah, you just get people because you start living together and start hanging out like that. You start replicating it around. Dude, you um, could do it with everything. You could get funding from the big guys to set this up, actually. Yeah. Yeah, like, that'd be imagine, great. Imagine if all the proviso that they get some stake in whatever happens yeah. or something. So like you go to say like you know the Microsofts, the Apples, the Googles, the yeah, yeah. the HPs, the IBMs, the Sonys, the whatever. Yeah. And say to them like, hey, invest in us. Like just get like a get them all to invest in a pool like a, with an equal amount, and then give them a certain share. Yeah. And then give them like you know for each idea that comes through that's really cool, give them access to funding. Yeah. Potential, like say, like those guys would, would be able to actually. If, if a cool idea came up in this house, if someone came up with a really cool idea that was marketable, and they're like, "Oh my god, okay, how do we take this to the next level?" Then say one of those companies that have already pre-invested have first dibs on uh, putting funding in. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Like VC funding, proper VC funding. We could have it all put together as like a, a show at the end, like you know, every day, kind of like the way that Big Brother was done. So it was fun. There, you could even yeah, do, do a webcam. Yeah, in web, the house. yeah, everywhere. Then people are speaking and saying what they think. If I, I watched that show, like hundred of the smartest people coming up with ideas, playing yeah. with cool tech, and then you have someone like you know, what do you need? Like a few editors and all of that to put together all this stuff and make a coherent story. They do it with Big Brother. Why not do yeah. it with the smartest people? Whoops. And then of course I don't. You go with um, Apple and Sony and all the big guys and all of that because they're looking at this, going, "Oh my god, look at that innovation!" Yeah. The, when the Wii came out with the Wii remote hacking and all of that, people are working together. You get a group of guys saying. Hells yeah, this is the shit! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get Roombas going around everywhere, they start putting stuff up, all iPads, like, new tech comes in, you just flood the house with tech and say, go yeah. crazy guys. PS3 gets hacked. <laughs> go and say, hey, let's do it. So you want like that. Hey, yeah, boss, yeah. Oh, fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> good fuck if they them. get busy, then we tell them to fuck off. Just not. Be, yeah. And they, they, they'd be losing so much that they'd be like, oh, no, it's cool, you can hack it. I think it'd be good fun. How would you how would you start this though without You need money, you need, you need rep you need fame and you need money. Because getting the say the say it was only twenty to start with, getting twenty people who would actually make it interesting because we need to get like in the brightest of the bright. Mm. That's hard. That work together as well, you can't just get No, oh, they don't have to work together, they just have to be all living together. Get me together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, fuck, why can't you do this? Why can't you start this on a smaller scale now? Just get a whole group of people and just put. That's not a bad We're essentially doing it. We are right doing now. it right now. It just, just actually film the damn thing. Just slower. Yeah. yeah, and make it a story. That's a really good idea. Webcams. Yeah, webcams everywhere in the house. Like every this, week, this you release a story. Like I'm trying to walk around trying to get on. Ah, right. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how would. Yeah. Do that next after we move out of here. Actually, get like a massive, like twenty bedroom place and do it. Just do that. <laughs> yeah, why not? That could work well. Just you're only allowed to move in if you're actually doing a business or working on that related to tech and stuff. So you get everyone in there living, working we, non-stop. We do that now. That. that would cost you nothing. Nothing. Nothing Absolutely at all. Nothing. Then every week you just look at different stuff that's happened. You put it together into a quick show. You promote it around the web. That that'd go viral pretty quick. See what's happening with this. Yeah. Come and help replicate. Come and sponsor us. We'll give you. Shots would you stream it live or would there be too many? Yeah, yeah, yeah stream it live as well. Why not? You just have to have designated areas that are like, this is streaming live now. Yeah. No, you'd have designated areas where it's not streaming live. Yeah, yeah. Like bathroom and maybe your room. bedroom. Yeah. Maybe, be, oh no, maybe your bedroom is streaming, but not from say the hours of you know like ten to ten or something, ten to nine, ten to eight. But so you you want to set up so that they're not feeling like they're controlled. But if they control them, they're going to restrict their ideas and what they say. Yeah. Like, to different people and at different locations at different times. Yeah. But then at the same time, I'm thinking like, um, fuck, if you've got 24 hours a day of all these different footage, how would you ever pay any editor to watch well, through all of it? They did it on Big Brother. Yeah, but they're sitting there non-stop watching. Yeah. It. Unless you've got some intelligent algorithms that could pick out interesting, like, interesting points. No, it'd be hard to do to start off. Because think about it here, like we'd have it like two, you'd have yeah. at least two cameras per yeah, room. Yeah. So every single room would be recording 24 hours a day. Should we look into what we actually have to do to just get cameras around? Maybe it's something like business money and just chuck up cameras, Wi Fi cameras, like there were those ones before. Yeah. 
I think they're about Chuck 40 memory. bucks each or so. And that'd be great. We Wireless, them all in. and then you just have it stream back to a server. Yeah. Yeah, that's not for me. What? Do you enjoy that? I think we should, because we have these awesome ideas after we actually record. You're talking to it. Oh, me. No, but you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying is, we have the... I think this is the more interesting thing than High 45, quite frankly. Yeah, well, because on High 45, we're trying to... Cons well, we've got a different persona. We're actually trying to actually yeah. say something. But, see, just watching Our tone's this, even different. Oh, very much so. And it's... Because we're sitting down, not walking around. I can't sit down and say stuff. I have to pace. Yeah, well, plus because you, you, you recognise the camera's on you. Yeah. And when the camera's on you, you're always like, oh, now I have to act differently. Yeah. And we're there's doing stories and stuff as well. So that's why if we had cameras in the corners, yeah. then you'd like, oh, for the first probably few weeks or months or something, you'd be like, oh, there's a camera on me. Yeah, you'd get over it very quickly.